Hello everybody and a Merry Christmas. Guess what? Stuck in traffic early, I thought, you know what, what a great idea for a little video. Well, I thought it was a great idea anyway. And I'm going to do uh, a list of things that you might want in your bar. But th what this is, basically, Christmas is coming up. It's December in a couple of days' time. And I thought, when I did my little bar, I didn't want socks, I didn't want pants. I wanted stuff for my little bar. My little shed down the garden, I've converted to a bar. And I wanted some bits and bobs put in my shed, right? I know up here, you know up here, lads and lasses, what you want, Okay you know deep down what you want, right? You don't want socks, you don't want pants. Well, you do, because you need them, yeah? The necessary items of clothing, etc. But I thought to myself, if I do a little video, some bits and bobs to give you some ideas, then you can pass it on to your partner, be it male, female, whatever gender they are. You can go, look, darling, or husband, wife, you can say, look, have a look at this video. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some links below as well. Some will be affiliated links, some won't. So, so some will be like Amazon links. I might earn two pence, I think you get something silly like that. If you use that link, it helps the channel. Some won't, some will just be linked to, um, linked to uh, items that I'm using in my bar. So I thought to myself, what a great idea, if we do a little, um, a little list of bits and bobs that you want for Christmas, then you can forward this video, before you forward the video by the way, like it and subscribe. Then forward the video onto your, your, your significant, significant other, or whatever you want to call them. Forward this video onto your significant other, I can't even say it, and say look, this is what I like for Christmas. This is some ideas of what I like for Christmas. First things first, I've got no flipping beer down here. So what I'm gonna do, pour myself a little down more, which brings me to the first item, right? Now, for Christmas, to tell you, tell your, can't say darling, husband, wife, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, because anyone can have these little sheds, right? So, okay, you've got a little shed, it's converted to a little bar. What do you want for Christmas? This is something you might want for Christmas. Whiskey glasses. A great little addition. These are the tasting glasses, and these were from Amazon. I'll put a link on the uh, below in the comments. These were from Amazon. So item number one. I won't list the items. It's a two-minute list. But item number one. I won't. I'm not going to go two, three, four. So ignore that. But this item. These are the proper whiskey tasting glasses. So that's what you want. So forward this video onto the other. I'll say, look, get some ideas from this, darling, husband, wife, whatever. First one, pour myself a little tipple. Christmas is coming up. The tree's up. I didn't do a great tree uh, opening. I wasn't going to do the tree tonight. Couldn't find my Christmas out. I went the Christmas jump run. A little bit early, actually, because we've got a few weeks to yet. But it creeps up upon you. I hate this weather. I hate the dark morning and night. But anyway, I'm going to have a sneaky little down more. So that's item number two. Well, I wasn't going to list it, but that's item number two. Whiskey. Another item, yeah? Don't buy them pants, socks, knickers, bras. Buy single malt, okay? So if you're other half, I'm just, from now on I'm gonna say other half, okay? Or other half, because I'm from Essex, right? I'm, de I'm not really East Ender, but I'm sort of my pretend East Ender, right? So if you're other half, yeah, it's got a little shed converted to a pub, a little bar, get them a little tipple. Single malt's always nice, nice and strong, but they're like a bit collectible, the old single malts. I've had, I've had man flu, I don't know if you've noticed, I've had man flu. A little sneaky tip of this before we dinner tonight. I don't really drink a lot of whiskey. Oh, that'll get rid of my old man through that wheel. It's lovely. So, single malt. You have a half will love a bottle of single malt. I'll take the camera around later on and I'll show you some decent single malts that you can get start that collection off with for that little bar. Whoever that may be. Christmas tree. Yeah, they don't want a Christmas tree for Christmas, do they? Cool. Whoa, that is the spot. I love these adverts on TV lately around Christmas time. They show, show these um, male and female people just drinking this whiskey and scotch. Really happy days. Let's have a scotch. Nah, it ain't like that. Cool. Unless you had a drop of water to it. Whew. <laughs> right, next item. So what we've done so far, we've done a whiskey glass, whiskey. These are good. Box of these. You can use these for like any time you're down your bar. Little candle things, they're good. Nice for Christmas, but any time I put these on when I come down, they pop down, I've got an array of them around here. You get a box of them for, for pennies, honestly. They all come with a battery in the bottom already, pre-installed. 
My grandson loves playing with these, little bleeder. They're a good addition. Little surprise, your other half opens up the parcel on Christmas morning. Socks, pants, happy days. Oh, little candles, batteries inside them. You can't beat that. What's that for? For Daniel Barr, obviously, right? What about these? You can get new ones or you go on eBay buy old ones. Beer towels, proper old fashioned beer towels, right? If I open a pack of these up Christmas day, I'm happy days, mate, I'm well happy. Beer towels. Slippers. Who does it like a little pair of slip-on slippers? Because they're easy to slip on and off. Look, Guinness ones. A bit uncomfortable these actually, but there you go. But uh, you know, you get the idea. If you watch the little intro at the beginning of this video, you'll see my lights outside. I'll put a link below to all my lights. The top of the bar I've got what's called, I call them, um, oh, I can't remember what you call it, some sort of strip light. That's um, waterproof, so that's an outdoor one. That comes into the room to an Alexa plug. One of these little puppies. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think these are Miros. Go for try and get one brand. It's easy. You get the one app then. You download one app. You get the one brand. I think I've got AI dot me. I've got loads of mine. But I'll put a link below to a certain. I think Miros, Mi Miros, Meros, whatever. But these are great. You, if you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that I've got this stuffed all over the place. Inside the ass, outside the ass. Ah, no good without an, an Alexa. Shh. Got to have an Amazon. All right, one of those little things, because you can use them for music as well. Yeah, mine's hiding around the back. Where have I moved? I'll move mine over the back there. Mine's hiding over the back there. I've got, my house is full of them. Once you get them down your bar, you're laughing. Get all these plugged in everywhere. You can control your whole bar, all your garden, with all your lights with one of these. I won't point the camera up there now. What about ceiling lights? I know it sounds weird, but if your other half opens up the box, oh, thanks, ceiling lights. Get smart bulbs. You can connect them to your little Alexa thing and it can run the show. On, off. Alexa, turn off ceiling. Okay. Ta-da! Alexa, turn on the ceiling. Okay. Happy days. I've also got the strip light around the outside. I won't bore you with all that. You've seen the other videos before, probably. You'll know all about that already. Um, chalkboard. There's another little addition. I've done a video on the chalkboard already. Chalkboard's around the back. Let's have a little look. One of these little chalkboards. And with the chalkboards, you want chalks, but the, the posh writing there was done with a stencil. If I get a chance, I'll list that at the bottom, put that behind the tree. Um, if I get a chance, uh, stencil, excuse me, the phone. I've got a stencil, you can buy a lettering stencil off Amazon, and you can get these chalk markers, which is like so. You do the nice neat stuff with these and do the other bit with normal chalks. Always a nice little addition. What else we got? Ah, the TP link. If you watch my video, if you subscribe or if not, have a little hunt around on the playlists. You'll notice that I've got some. Um, I know it sounds weird. I've got a TP link, like an access point. So, yeah, it sounds a bit of a, a shite present, right? But if you open up a present Christmas morning, it's something they want, right? They want an Ethernet lead. Everyone wants an Ethernet lead, right? They want an Ethernet lead. That'll keep them busy over Christmas. Run a cable down your shed, from your router in your house, down your fence, into your little bar, into an access point. If I got that for Christmas, I'd be happy, right? That's what I want for Christmas. I don't, because I've already got it. I bought it for myself, because I buy it for myself. Another little, these are good, come on. Every pub shed owner wants some cushions. These are good, but you have to buy the Guinness cans. I've done a video on these. The Guinness, little Guinness um, Nitro Surgers, right? They're pretty good little machines. They're um, USB chargeable, and I'll tell you what, you have to buy a special cans of Guinness for these, but they work wonders. They absolutely work wonders. Really, really good. USB ports I can put in the deck. Um, tell you what, hip flask, another little idea. What about, I won't grab it, it's beyond the camera there. I've got a little selection of whiskies, little travel set. Um, little set of whiskies, tasters, so they can try different whiskies out before they delve into the proper whiskies. Um, what else we've got here? Ah, a splitter box. Have a look at this. Splitter box. This splitter box can run all your TVs. These are the nuts. Get one of these, plug it into the mains, plug your little stick in there as well, your fire stick, whatever you've got, and then you can run one TV, two TV, three TVs. TV. Buy them a little TV. You can get a 32-inch, 42-inch TV. They're so cheap now. Get a used one. 
I've got three TVs in my bar. It looks proper. If you go down your local pub sports bar, they don't have one TV. They have three or four or five TVs. Get some TVs around your bar, right? Get some TVs. So buy your other half a TV. But it doesn't have to be massive. It can be a small one beyond the bar. Um, use a splitter. Connect them all up together. HMI leads. Another little brilliant handy little uh, thing to get hold of. Ah, record player. Have a look at this record player. This record player is a basic one from Amazon. It's nice, it does the job. It's got the hiss crackles and that. It sounds the nuts. Record player with some speakers. I'll link below to the record player and speakers that I've got. Does the job. Happy days. I was well pleased. I got mine for Christmas actually a couple of years back. Well pleased. Open up the record player with a couple of vinyls. And a lot of stuff now is coming out on vinyl. Can't go wrong with vinyl. Um, pub signs. Did I mention pub signs? Pub signs. Amazon. Grab them quick. They used to be a lot, a lot cheaper. Pub signs, right? Get a couple of pub signs. How about making your part up a nice box with bits and bobs? Bottle of whiskey, cushions, pub signs. Happy days, mate. I'll be well pleased. Lights. You saw the lights outside. I'll link to all the lights down below that I've got in my garden. Indoors. Smart bulbs indoors. It's your standard LED lights. I won't list them. They're standard LED lights indoors. Stick them around with um, little connecting strips. I've done a video on that years ago. Outdoor bulbs. I'll list to these ones. These have lasted a few years now. They're glass, but I've started replacing them with plastic. Um, the bulbs. So I've got two. Yeah, I've got two sets now plugged into the Amazon sockets indoors here. One set down a the fence there. One set down a the fence. So left and right. If you watch the beginning of this video, it all lights up. Looks lovely. Um, I'm starving hungry actually. What about a ball of nuts or ball? I haven't got any at the moment. I'm out. What about a ball of nuts? I did have from. Um, a lot of shops, or actually Amazon do them as well, they do do the, the balls of scampi fries. Yeah, get some stuff like that, scampi fries. What about a bar runner, getting a proper bar runner? I won't show you, you've got mats there, but I've got proper bar runners left, right and centre in here. The, the rubber ones. They're good. Glass collectors. <coughs> Not the best present in the world, I must admit. What about, I was thinking earlier, what about, don't just think of winter, think of summer. What about an apron? And some uh, barbecue utensils. So, open like that for when the old barbecue gets lit outside your bar. And a new set of utensils for the barbecue. I know it's winter, but summer's. Get winter out of the way. Hate winter. Get bring the old summer on. Get the bar open. A few beers in the garden. Barbecue light. You'll want, your partner will want an apron and some tools. Ah! Almost forgot. Bit expensive, but if you're going to treat them. Well, first we'll get that out of the way. I've done a little tiny video on that. It won't light up at the moment. It needs charging. The old um, LED sign. Cheap as you like. I'll do a link to that LED sign. This one won't turn on at the moment. It needs charging. What's about a perfect draft machine? The P I keep telling... I must admit, I was anti-perfect draft machines a few years back. A couple of people on my YouTube lives went on and on about perfect draft machines. And out of all the machines, I think it's one of the better ones price the amount of beers in the keg etc um this is the old perfect drive machine still works mine still works wonders they were in if you're in the uk you've heard of macro which is like a trade place you'll add vat those 99 pound add your vat on they're uh about 120 pounds for the old model if you can grab one that's i saw them online today actually 150 something pounds i think now the ones i saw on a facebook page were on a special deal so if you go into your local macro right now they may have them on a special deal um as they stand at the moment on macro the old model is 156 159 i didn't think it was a bad price i still like my lpd my perfect draft machine uh, or go out the whole hog get the new model if you get a perfect draft machine you want some beer Kegs of beer, 35, 38 quids. I'm in a bit of a dilemma at the moment because they've done a good Friday week PD people, the perfect drive people. You can get these in Asda, some Asda's as well, actually, apparently. I said macro, didn't I? Did I say Asda or macro? That's macro, the prices I was talking about, sorry. Perfect drive macro. Asda, some Asda's, I think up north do the, the um, perfect drive kegs. They don't in my local one at the moment. I'm not up north, which is a shame. Well, it's not a shame, but they don't do it in my local Asda's. Not that I go out shopping a lot, so I'll have a little look when I find out, when I check. I've got one of this has got to be sent back, the other one's got to be sent back. I've got a dilemma on at the moment, slightly changing the subject, because I put this on my Christmas list, 
for my family to buy me in the Good Friday week. So I could do a couple of these. But if I buy a couple now, will I get some for Christmas? Mind you, it, you can never have enough beer. I do need one on the journey up to Christmas. My beer fridge is empty at the moment. I've got one can of Thatcher's Gold sitting there at the moment, looking really sad for itself. Um, I must admit, I'd have a nice cold beer at the moment out of my perfect draft machine if I had a beer in that machine right now. But well, I haven't, because they are they are bloody good. I mean, they are. I do rate them. Give it a go, honestly. Give them a go. There's a lot of set now. Getting back to Christmas presents, there's a lot of set now ones on the market, I think. But getting back to Christmas presents, I'll be over the moon if I opened up. Well, not wooden, because I've got one. But if I didn't have one, I opened up one of these machines for my little shed, I'll be, I'll be over the moon. I'll be well happy, well happy. So you can't go wrong, people, with buying your partner a perfect draft machine. Um, I've got a little list. Where's my little list gone? I'll have a little mouth of this whiskey. This is bleeding strong, this stuff. Oh, I've mentioned the lights. Record player. If you buy, record, if you buy your partner, male or female record player, you'll probably need speakers and speaker wire um, and a couple of vinyls, 7 inch, 12 A lot of stuff's come back out on vinyl now, which is nice. What else have we got here? PD machine. Oh, cost, no, Costco. Did I mention a macro? Costco. Sorry, Costco. PD machine. Perfect drive machines in Costco at the moment for 120 But online it's 160 So if you go in there, you might be able to get a deal. I'm not sure. Fake candles, lights. Right, okay. Split it. I've pretty much covered everything. Uh, USB port in your bar. Pictures. I saw someone on Facebook the other day that had a load of family memorabilia on the, all over the walls. That looked nuts. That really did look nuts. Beers, whiskey, cushions, beer mats, beer towels, bar runners. Oh, this is what I can blow when I get a chance. Uh, any pub memorabilia, as I said, a perfect draft machine or a beer machine. Is, what's the other one, the big one they do? That's quite expensive. That's a nice nice thing to do. Bottle of spirits. You can't go wrong on Christmas morning. I'm not a bottle, bottle of spirits. Your Malibu, your Baileys, your vodka. Uh, what have we got up there? Whiskies. Yeah, vodka, I mentioned that already. Gin and tonic for the ladies, obviously. Uh, we've got some more whiskies over there, more gin and tonics up there. What about the old decanter and crystal set? Glass set, that's nice, be a nice present as well. Record player I've mentioned already. Bottle opener, oh, I was going to mention the Pint 365. What about a beer engine? Quite expensive. That'd be a lovely, lovely present, a beer engine. Um, if you can get one cheaper, I'm not sure. I gave one away in a competition years ago. What about a keg setup? with a faucet, um, the Uflow. Have a look on Uflow's website. There might be something there they fancy. But the Pine 365 machine, if you want to be an engine, if your, your partner's in a real house, and they've, you know, go to the Pine 365 website, treat them to a nice beer engine, or give them cash. I don't go get what beer engine they want. There's a lot of different models there. Chrome, brass finishes, different wood finishes, etc. They look the nuts. I've mentioned already your cushions. Don't forget your cushions. Don't forget your seating, pub chairs, etc. Oh, one other thing, these are good. The lanterns. I was going to mention the lanterns. Right, sorry to disappear for so long, people. It's chilly out there. If it still works, because I left this one outside. Yeah. And I've got some proper old lanterns uh, that my dad gave me, the old fashioned ones that used to have paraffin, but this LED one works lovely. It looks all right. I quite like the look of this, and I leave that outside all the time. On your whiskey barrel, you can't really buy some on a whiskey barrel for. Uh... There you go. You can't really buy some on a whiskey barrel for Christmas, can you? Bit big, but this is quite nice. I'll put a link below to uh, if I get a chance to that. Um, I don't think it's any. I think it takes batteries. Then I don't think it's any. Um, it's not uh, solar charged. That's been out in the rain and wet. That one. That's all right. I like that. It's quite nice. It's, it's a nice summer's evening, warm evening, chimney area light. With this guy, it's a nice. Cut of cold beers. I've not done that this year much. This year. I don't know why. I'll be back into it soon. I think that covers it all, people. Let's leave that there somewhere. <coughs> I think I've gone through loads of stuff. Hopefully I've given you some ideas of what to buy your partners for Christmas if they've got a pub shed or they're building a pub shed. Speakers, your record player, your vinyl. I won't go over it all again. If there's something you think of that you've bought or you've got in your bar and you think someone might like it as a present, 
please comment below, leave us um, below. I've not thought of everything, but that's just a handful of things that I thought I would like to open on Christmas Day. I personally wouldn't like to open Christmas Day because I've got most of that stuff already. Beers are coming down here, so if you're watching anyone, any of my family if you're watching, keg of beer, or a couple of kegs of beer for me, perfect drive machine would be nice. Some bottles of whiskey or some, some lagers from my fridge would be quite tasty. Ice machine. I did a video a while back, in the summer, quite a while ago in the summer, on the ice machine. That ice machine is still working this very day. It is the nuts. It's probably the most, one of the most used things. Even in the winter, we still have that ice machine running. My family love it, my grandson love it. Anyone that comes around, wax ice in their, uh, in their drink. I don't know why even squash and that, it just makes it so much, so much better. So, so much better. I think I've covered it all. Ah! Perfect draft, you can get wraps. I noticed someone's on about wraps, you get these stickers that go all over it. So check out premiumpumpwraps.co.uk. I don't know them, I've not actually gone on the website myself, didn't have time. And apparently on eBay, you can buy the tap handles to replace these handles, the taps, they just unscrew. They've got to have a 3 8 of an inch, 16 the thread. That's 3 8 of an inch and 16 pitches per inch, I think, or something like that, but ignore all that. 3 8 16 thread will fit this and the new machine. So apparently you can buy it from USA though, so it might not come through in time. But apparently if you go on eBay, hunting for a perfect draft machine, taps. <coughs> they do some nice fancy, fancy taps. Or you can get these little magnet things off the, um, they do magnets that go on the top like that. Got those things there. But you can't really see them because they're on the top. What's that one say? Or best granddad in the world? I should think so. Um, you can't really see them because on the top there. I've got, got a little box of them, but... Um, I'm going to finish my whiskey off. Oh, by the way, don't forget your candles. And if it's not your Christmas present, whack them on your bar. Get a box at home then. Use the links below. Some are affiliated. I might get a couple of pence out of it, you know. Thank you for watching, people. Um, I don't think I'll edit this video. I'm just going to whack it up and go for it, I think. Uh, like, subscribe. As I say, follow this video and share it with people. So, look, this is this guy's talking a lot of sense. Well, he's talking a lot of crap as well, actually, most of the time. Hope you enjoyed that video, but yeah, you can pass this video on to people and go, look, this, yeah, Mum, Dad, look, I want this for Christmas. This is this guy here, Johnny Boy. This is this idiot, he's talking crap, but, you know, he's come up with some ideas for you. Your Mum and Dad are going down and going, I don't know what to buy him, don't know what to buy him. Watch this video, there's loads of ideas. Whatever I've mentioned, they'll be pleased with, all right? Pub signs, pub signs, you can't go wrong. Calendars, your favourite pop stars, calendars, put that on the wall. Pub signs, Alexas, smart speakers, smart sockets, smart bubbles, a lot. Thank you very much, people. Happy Christmas. This won't be my last Christmas video, but I thought I'd put the jumper on and the tree on while I come down here to uh, get in the spirit, the festive spirit. I'm going to have to go shopping this week and get myself some booze. <coughs> As I say, just getting over man flu. I'm not sure I should get some kegs for the PD, the perfect draft machine, yet, um, because I don't know if the family bought me some. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. But I might just shoot to the shop at the weekend and get a cat some cans of beer. And uh, I'll see you again soon, people. Uh, yeah, look out the next video. It won't be the last one because we've got a few weeks till Christmas yet. But I've done the the trees up, so you know I couldn't find my little star again this year. I found it last year and it disappeared again. And I'm just looking around the bar quickly. What about some flags on your ceiling? I look around the bar quickly to see if I can find some more bits and pieces you might want to buy your partner for their pub shed. I can't think of anything more cushions, chairs, but you can't really buy them out for Christmas, can you? Bottle openers, pub signs, yard of owl. Um, the list is endless. Put comments below, people. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'm off now. I ain't put the heat on today because it's a bit chilly. I'd only pop down and do a quick video. And uh, it's getting cold. It's getting Christmassy down. I got a jump on. I got me. Could do have a Christmas hat. I might look for a Christmas woolly hat. Actually, that'd be nice. I do like to get the spirit. This jumper. This is a bit old. This jumper. Excuse me. Let's put that. I mentioned that already, didn't I? We can't see that working, but I've done a video on that. There you go. Cheers, people, and Merry Christmas.